Yo, what up, guys? It's 15 minutes past the hour of 10 o'clock on a Sunday morning. So I'll be we continue our analysis on BTC. It's almost 24 hours after the first um video, after the first analysis we shared concerning BTC. And of course, I'm using the daily chart and I am using FTSS change as a platform for this analysis. Okay, so you can see the daily chart, like I said. BTC is still inside this channel. It hasn't gone off. It hasn't gone out, out, outside the channel. It hasn't gone above the channel. But then there is something I noticed and I would like to point it out. And just start from here. How many? We had one, two, three, four, five. We have we had five red candles here. Okay. We had five bearish days here. And let's count one, two, three, four, five. So we've we've equally had um five days of um green we have we've had five days of um bullishness on btc so it has automatically um, e um equalized the five bearish days we had here and the now the question now arises what's next what's what are we expecting what is the next thing that will happen remember i told us that um, as long as BTC hasn't gone above this um down sloping resistance here, that taking a long position would be um would be it would be taking a risk that doesn't really make sense, right? So, like I said, I'm not taking any long trade until I see that BTC has gone not just above here, but then I need to you know um take out this swing high here, this swing high we had here. Okay, so instead of me longing, I would rather look for um entry positions to short, but Remember, this is not this is not any financial advice. I'm just sharing my pers personal bias. I'm just sharing my personal opinion. I'm not advising anybody to do as I've said. I'm not encouraging anybody to you know buy into my opinion or buy into my idea. But this is typically what I would be doing, right? I've started um I've started um taking some um short positions. Of course, I'm not entering once. The ideal thing would be to just to get in it to fraction by fraction until you are fully convinced that. Um, all the um, risky areas have been taken off. That's the only time you can now um, degen into any short position. Right now, I've started scaling in gradually. I scaled in when I saw BTC at 21.6. That was earlier this morning. That was when I, I, I entered like 10% of the money I intend to short BTC with. So that's what I would also advise anybody to I'm not advising anybody anyway. So I think this is just what, I, what I'm doing. So if you, if you buy into it, you could, you could equally um, try it out with me, right? So we still have this swing high here that needs to be taken out. We have this swing high here. And then there is um, there's equally another swing low here that needs to be taken care of as well. That's for those who are um, intending to short. Okay, so that's for the daily chart. That's for the daily charts. Okay, so we also go into the four hour chart as well. Let's take the four hour trade to see what it is showing us. Okay, for the four hour, nothing, nothing much has really changed, of course. Okay, you see, of course, BTC has actually gone um, above this down slope, this very down sloping resistance we have here. It has actually gone above it and as well closed, closed above it. Okay, but something else calls for attention. Something else is actually um, noticeable here. And that is what we can see in the one hour chart. Okay, from the one hour chart, um, let me show something from the, for the one hour chart. Okay. This this chart pattern just focus on this um this well this um this line this shaded line here the thick one focus on it the, this chart pattern it's called something okay this is called a rising wedge this is called a rising a rising wedge for those of us who know about technical analysis this is called a rising wedge and the rising wedges are typically known as um bearish bearish chart patterns okay this is a, this this is called um a rising wedge which is known as a bearish chart pattern so seeing this bearish bearish wedge on the 4 hour and also uh, seeing that btc has actually hit that um particular resistance i've always talked about so i do not really think it really makes any cool sense now you know trying to take any long trade trying to take any long um position on btc okay so that's basically why I am I am I'm pretty much skeptical about taking any long position on BTC right now. Okay, so that's why I'm I'm quite skeptical um, taking any long position on BTC right now. Okay, so I would just I would just um, 
I will just, like I said, I will just continue to, I will just continue to um, lather in, okay? Just be taking um, small entry position on my short trade, just be looking for um, places to go short. And this is what I'm, I'll be doing. I'm not advising anybody to follow suit, but this is what I have chosen to be doing. Okay, so that's for that. For us to be very sure that what we saw, what we what the, what we are seeing here is um, a rising wedge, let's, let's look at um, a typical example of what um, a rising wedge looks like and... Um, and what uh, normally happens after the formation of a rising wedge okay let's look at a typical example okay this this um this a rising wedge i think i need to go to baby pips okay baby pips is one of the website that teaches everything you need to know about um um trading basically forex okay it's it's focused on forex but for anything chat they have a lot of good topics there that covers uh, a whole lot of things concerning and chat patterns and um, forex and the rest of it okay so this is typically ideally this is what um this is what a rising wedge looks like okay so when you see this kind of thing forming it's um it's a rising wedge okay it's a rising wedge and it's a rising wedge and and of course see what happens after the formation of this one and the next thing is that it started dropping okay so we've seen this and when we also look at what btc is doing here we see that there is pretty much um and there is really not much of a difference between what is happening here and what we saw what we can see in this um this very um this very analysis i showed us okay so that's for that and we are not just stopping here let's also go to the long time um the long term analysis the long term chart i showed about btc that's we are switching to trading view now okay let's see what we have on that very um, platform trading view okay i'd shared about this chart that was when btc was still somewhere around here when btc was around 22k i'd shared that i was expecting this kind of thing to play out and look at what is happening now it has actually is actually playing now so to say okay we've seen this if it has gotten here it has touched this very place okay it has touched this very place it has gone ahead to hit this very resistance so the question now is what happens next remember this is the daily chart okay this is the daily chart so the question now is what happens next after this what is the next step so i'm i'm thinking that since we've hit this very resistance, that the next thing is that BTC might. Please, I'm very careful about my choices, choice of word. That's why I'm, I'm using such words as may, might, okay, could, because there is no certainty, there is no guarantee. Anything can always happen. The market can decide to do what it wants to do. Nobody tells the market what to do. So I'm thinking that there is a probability of BTC as it has hit this resistance, that it can really, it may not really break it, okay? It may not really break it. Instead, it will start dropping down, of course, this um this target I give this eight thousand nine hundred and eleven dollars target that I give is not going to happen once. Yes, it's not going to happen once. There are a couple of levels that need to be taken. Take for instance um there's a couple of levels that need to be taken out. Take for instance what we have here on the um this um very um um rising wedge. Of course, if this this starts starts dropping, it's not going to just drop straight to eight thousand or thereabouts. There are a couple of levels that would be would need to be taken care of. Which, which includes such levels as this. There is this very level here that needs to be taken out. There is this level here, 20K. There is, this, there is 20K, okay? There is 20K, 480. And then there is this level. And then there is also another level, which is this, okay? So if we eventually get that breakout, breakdown, which we are anticipating, so these very levels, 20,900, um, 20,480, 19,600, and then 18,800. These are very various levels that would be taken out. Of course, um, if you decide to go short on this, you need to be very, 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 very careful, right? You don't just go, you don't just um, degen into it. You don't just degen into it. You need to be um, very, very careful. So like I said, I'm not taking any long position on BTC because I still believe to a reasonable extent that BTC is bearish. And because BTC is bearish, I would want to tilt my buyers. I would want to... Um, um, align my thoughts, align my trading um, decision to be in tune with what the chat is saying. All right, guys, I will see you in the next episode. Your man, Mr. Solution. And please, if you're looking for a community of traders to join, I'll be, be leaving the link to our um, Telegram community at the de description section of this video. I would encourage you guys to join us as we keep on doing magic. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hands ahead. Salute.